Well, I admit, I do have a mental illness. I am on a long-term disability because of my mental illness. I've been saying I'm cured, but in actual fact, I'm just still mentally ill. And one of the problems is working outside in the real world. Got some issues, got some mental illness going on there. A lot of people would say that I'm lazy and don't want to work and just like the free paycheck. But I have massive issue with working for a large corporation because I happen to see that our large corporations have this cost-effective rule where they make profit at the cost of doing harm to human life. That causes this natural instinct fight-flight in me that causes pain in my muscles. That fight-flight natural human condition you know when you fight or flight you know fight or run away from a problem um, tends to make your muscles tense you need your muscles to run and to be strong so anytime I get into a situation where I know I'm wrong or I'm in a wrong situation my muscles tense up and I've always been told my entire life that I'm a really tough person and I've took that as a compliment so I was tough no matter how wrong everything was I was tough and I knew I could do it to the point where over years um, the muscles getting that tense ended up uh, causing way too much physical pain so my mentally ill concept of being healed means I no longer have any pain as long as I don't work for this corporate structure. I would love, love, love more than anything to get up every day and be productive and be a healthy member of society, but I just can't even find that place to work at. I know I offend people. That's another part of my mental illness. When I see something that's wrong, it just comes out of my mouth and I end up saying that ain't right. <laughs> I don't know how to keep my mouth shut. That's part of my mental illness. When I see something wrong, I speak up. That's my mental illness and it offends people. They don't like hearing my opinions. I did work for an awful long time. I did pay income tax. I really, really don't like the idea that I couldn't even afford to feed and clothe my own children sufficiently that my paycheck went towards supporting other people that were on a welfare system. But it offends me a lot more when my paycheck went to make my politicians millionaires. They only work for four years and end up being a millionaire when they're out. And then they get long retirement funds after four years. <laughs> that kind of offends me. That my paycheck goes to make somebody else a millionaire and is not allowed to go towards feeding my own children. Although my kids are older, that is what I lived with and that is what I know most taxpayers are dealing with right now. They may hate paying me welfare, but I really feel horrible knowing that they are supporting me now, but I also know that they're making millionaires off people that don't want taxpayers to have enough money to feed their own families. But if I say that, I offend people. So I'm mentally ill because I don't know how to keep my mouth shut.
I know some really good ideas. But I don't want to be that corporate structure. I don't want to fall into things that are wrong. So I don't go and get funding from investors that are just interested in turning a good idea into a bad idea just so that they could profit and basically it would be my idea and I'd be selling my idea to somebody else and then I'd be once again making bare minimum while a corporate structure makes all of that money so I guess I am just totally mentally ill I see this stuff going on in Japan and this nuclear plant blowing up and I see these really really smart mentally healthy corporate people and government saying we couldn't foresee this problem yet there's been a lot of activists that have been speaking out saying there's a little bit of a problem you should anticipate to me in my mental illness I see that no it was anticipated you could see these problems because there's activists that have been telling you about these problems but in their mental health state they chose to just ignore it and now say that well it's all, all it couldn't be foreseen and we're gonna buy that we think that that's normal we think that's a healthy mind to me I think that's wrong but I'm dealing with a mental illness so I probably am the one that's wrong I'm seeing so many people protest I'm getting injured and to me it's you know what they're just going to make you dead and fighting it just doesn't seem to be an answer fighting never solved any problems whatsoever to me in my mental illness I would say stop consuming eventually from what I see in my mental illness there won't be anything to consume eventually anyways that's why people are protesting is because they're losing <laughs> they're losing stuff but they're losing stuff when the corporate structure takes the stuff away but you can take the same stuff away on your terms by not purchasing it that brings things down on your terms and not their terms I see so many solutions available but I'm mentally ill they're probably really really crazy crazy ideas because I'm mentally ill and I know that even the money that I get every month is going to end that's not going to be there soon I know my fate I know I will be on the streets. I know I won't be able to afford a place to live. And I know the corporate structure will demand me working or be on the streets. They will make me a slave one way or another. And the only option I can see is no, I'd rather be on the streets. And it'll probably get called. And although I don't like alcohol, I'll probably become an alcoholic just to keep warm. I live in Canada. And then people will think I have an addiction to something. But it's like, no, that's my way of heating my body up. Um, I choose not to get angry. So I would never develop an addiction because I'm in any pain. <laughs> like most people that are homeless. Um, they probably can't communicate. <laughs> their mental illness. I was talking with a friend and uh, who didn't like asking for help. 
And I said, do you know that when you ask somebody for help, you're actually giving them a gift? Because when somebody else can help you, it makes them feel good. Do you not feel good when you're helping other people? I know if that's the time that I feel the best is when I'm helping somebody else out. So it's actually a gift. But then that, that sword has two edges. That if you live to help others, like a lot of these nonprofits, which I happen to disagree with, they earn their high living through helping others. When you do it for money, then it's not helping others, it's sustaining everything that's wrong. If the only way you can feel good is by helping others, then maybe you always need others to need your help. And that seems to be what nonprofits are, is they're in business to make sure that you need their help. Otherwise, they'd be out of business. The other side of that is if you're doing it without money, if you're doing it because you just feel good helping somebody else out without profit, without reward back, that seems to be the healthier way to do it. But because I'm mentally ill, I would presume that that would be the mentally ill way of looking at things. So while I say that I think I'm cured, only because the health issues that I deal with are said to be very painful. I don't have any pain as long as I do what I think is right. As long as I stay away from that corporate structure, as long as I stay away from a politician, as long as I stay away from the fight, then I seem to be a lot healthy. But then I'm really secluded. <laughs> But am I so secluded when I come on YouTube and thousands of people are watching my videos? Um, it's not a direct contact with other human life <laughs> in person, one-on-one. -on -one. I don't know so much if I could take that because a lot of people disagree with me. I'd love to be in the group of people that do agree with me, but we're a very small group. And facing some people that are disagreeing with me tends to cause my physical health to go down. I start getting pain. So yes, I am on a disability because I am mentally ill. I'm waiting for the time that the rest of the world is mentally ill as well so that I can go out with everybody else that thinks the same as me. Because if that is healthy thinking, I don't want to be healthy. I'm proud to be mentally ill. I just wish everybody else would be proud to be mentally ill too and change your ways of thinking. <laughs> because a lot of things tend to make a lot of sense in this mental illness way of thinking. It seems like there would be a lot less suffering, a lot less pain. It seems to me that a lot of people have to be tough. They have to be fighting to do everything that I see is wrong. To me, I see the planet just destroying itself from perfectly healthy people. If mentally ill people were running the world, what would it look like? For me, I wouldn't have a corporate structure. Small business, I think, is the way to go. And only business pays income tax. Not the business owner and not the worker. And the business owner is making the same as the labor. You can't have one without the other. There is no one that's more important than the other. I think it's psychopathic thinking. An ego that makes you think that you're more deserving than anybody else. But I could be wrong because I'm mentally ill. That's probably mental ill thinking. But I'd rather be mentally ill. I'd rather live on a street. I'd rather be homeless. 
than to be healthy. A healthy mind is a dangerous thing. Peace out.